Well, I promised you guys an update on what I did with the old, the uh, new panel when I had it installed. So, here it is. There are my other two on the back there. This is the new 50 watt panel I reviewed. I found some old uh, metal that I had that I was able to uh, mount into the brackets and mount it on the roof. And this is just a carport, you know, it's just a metal carport. But there's the new panel. And now I'm going to show you what I did with the old one. So that leaves the question, where did the old panels go? Well, here they are. And I'm going to show you inside. Um, basically what I did was I put them all together as one panel um, and mounted them on some PVC. I'll show you that in a minute. But this replaces the tiny little panels that I had charging my portable uh, Ham Radio Go kit, solar kit. So, there's the front. And I don't know if the camera will pick up the red and black cable. I'm eventually going to get some cover for that. And it runs right into... Here, that's where I keep my kit ready to go and charged. Okay, let's give you a little look inside. You can see the charge control in there is green. That usually didn't happen with the smaller panels, which were I think two five watt panels, I'm not sure, um, because they weren't marked. I got them for free and they weren't marked. So that gives me, uh, you know, that used to take till about noon before it was uh, green. And when I came out here at about eight this morning, it was already green. So that's a little go backup go kit for my solar ham radio stuff if I have to deploy into the field. And if you look back, I don't know, last year sometime I did the video on this and gave you a little tour of the whole thing. But anyway, let's go outside and uh, take a look at how I mounted the panels together. Right, so we're outside. Um, what I did with these is I kept thinking about how I could mount them together and make like one huge panel that would be easy to carry. and drop into the car and I came up with this. I had a ton of PVC lying around so instead of going out and spending money I just took the PVC, drilled little holes with screws into the uh, this panel here. This, this panel didn't have holes on the side of it and I used the existing little notches there and just mounted it all as one. Wired them together in the back. I'm going to seal that up a little better um, and I'm also going to cover up that red and black wire. I'm going to get some of that stuff that fits over the wire, kind of like what I have. Let me take you over here. This stuff that's going into my house, or the other solar stuff. Anyway, that's about it. That's what I've done. That's where they'll live, and if I need to grab them in a hurry, I can just uh, unplug the cigarette lighter plug from the box, roll it over here, grab the panels, grab the box and the antennas, and I'm out the door. And this, I did a video on these, God, I want to say six years ago. This is the second system down here that that big 50 watt panel's on now. And as you can see, charge control's green. I don't know how I ended up with two systems. Everybody tells me to put it all in one. Um, this one's on the 200 watt panels up top, and that's on the 50. But I kind of like having two systems because if something goes down in one, you got another backup. So anyway, that's the update on all my solar stuff. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video, and we will talk to you soon.